Today, the jury went into deliberations and quickly found in favor of Gwyneth's $1 countersuit. Was Gwyneth Paltrow at fault? No. Was Terry Sanderson at fault? Yes. What amount fairly compensates Gwyneth Paltrow for economic damages? One dollar. At first, Gwyneth remained emotionless when the verdict was read, then flashed a quick smile. And things got even wilder when plaintiff Terry Sanderson was called back to the stand late yesterday. Did you compare my client to King Kong? That was not my intention. My King Kong came out of the jungle or something. I meant to say King Kong just chased someone out of the jungle. You're small but mighty. Actually, you're not that small. And I'm sure Gwyneth is watching as well. Cool. Yeah. Prank! This weekend, all eyes will be on SNL to see how host Quinta Brunson and the cast tackles the spectacle. Gwyneth actually appeared in this 2019 Goop spoof. So what does Goop stand for? Oh. Gwyneth, Gwyneth opens our paychecks. <laughs> As for the looming domestic violence case against Creed and MCU star Jonathan Majors, his lawyer provided E.T. several alleged text messages they claim proves he is innocent. After the arrest, a woman who calls herself Jonathan's partner writes, quote, I read about strangulation and I said point blank, this did not occur. They said they had to arrest you. When they saw the injuries on me, I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. Jonathan's lawyer did not elaborate how her alleged injuries occurred, but maintains he, quote, completely denies assaulting the woman, adding he called 911 due to her mental state. In one of the alleged messages, she writes, I said to tell the judge the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out. 